And former President Donald Trump closing out the final night of the Republican National Convention, addressing plans for his first day back in the White House if he wins and conveying a message of unity to the Republican Party as a whole in the entire nation. Mr. Trump's speech was the longest televised acceptance speech ever at 92 minutes. News 15's Chanley Painter has the recap and reactions. Former President Donald Trump once again officially accepting his party's nomination for the White House as the 2024 Republican National Convention came to a historic close Thursday night. America's future will be bigger, better, bolder, brighter, happier, stronger. Days after a near-death experience during an assassination attempt in Pennsylvania, Trump took the stage in Milwaukee to dedicate his life to serving America, sharing his intimate thoughts in the moments after the gunman's bullet struck his right ear. Blood all over the place. I immediately knew it was very serious that we were under attack. The former president then outlining his plans for day one if he wins a second term in the Oval Office. Republicans have a plan to bring down prices and bring them down very, very rapidly by slashing energy costs. The four-day convention touted themes of unity, a topic supporters definitely picked up on. It was exciting, enthusiastic. As a 31-year-old millennial, look, it's one of the most unifying speeches I've heard from any politician. But as the RNC rallied behind Trump, Democrats are ramping up calls for Biden to exit the race. More and more, the center of gravity in the party is um, around this notion that we do need someone else to run for president. Trump and his vice presidential pick, J.D. Vance, are expected to hold their first rally as running mates this weekend in Michigan. And meanwhile, the Democratic National Convention in Chicago will kick off August 19th. I'm Chanley Painter, News 15.